welcome back to my channel it's Izzy me here today we're going to be looking at how to correctly two strand twist your hair now there's a right way and a wrong way okay I'm not used to using the word wrong because you know sometimes you do the wrong things and you get the best results out of them so I wouldn't exactly say it's the wrong way to do it it's just that um, that's not like the appropriate way to to strand twist um, natural hair especially so I find that some of us um, complain that oh I don't know how to twist my hair or when I twist my hair it doesn't come out nice and it's mainly because when we two strand twist our natural hair a lot of us incorporate the regular twisting technique you know the regular twisting technique we use when you have to maybe use hair extensions and the rest of them it's actually very different when it comes to kinky hair okay so i'm going to show you guys the difference and hopefully your next twist out is going to be long. so without talking too much let's get into it i already twisted my entire hair so i just left this section here so i could use it to demonstrate for you guys so i have used a bit dry and i just washed it I'm just going to moisturize it here. So like I stated earlier, my hair feels a bit dry, so I applied the Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Morocco. This oil works a treat for dry, damaged hair. It was one of my favorites actually when I still had colored hair. And even after my big chop, I still use it from time to time whenever my hair feels a bit, you know, too dry to handle yeah so if you have colored hair definitely incorporate it into your hair care regimen next i took out a small section of the hair i wanted to work with and detangled it properly and after detangling i realized my ends were thinning out and i decided to quickly get a trim the earlier you knit the thin ends in the bud the better because if you wait until those thin ends start to intertwine with one another, you end up cutting off more hair than you were originally supposed to. All right, now here's a close look at what my hair looks like with the thin ends. So I brushed out the entire section and then used a pair of scissors to just, you know, cut off those thin ends. A lot of us avoid getting regular trims because we feel, oh, I'm going to cut my hair, my hair is going to be short, it's not going to be long anymore. But that's really not the case because getting your trims as regularly as you should can make a very huge difference in your hair's health and overall appearance. We are going to take another look at what my hair looked like after I got the trim. For today's look, I'm using one of my favorite stylers and that's the Beautiful Textures Moisture Butter Whipped Core Cream. This styler gives me a lot of definition and I like the smell and virtually everything about it. As you can see, I'm applying it in bits and that's in order for me to not have too much or too little because too little of your styler is not going to give you the desired result and too much of it can lead to product building up on your scalp and we don't want either of those afterwards I brushed it out with my detangling brush now I'm going to show you the incorrect way to twist You notice how I twisted all the way down without keeping the twists tight or even detangling along the way. With this procedure, I am too sure that the result is going to be a disaster. This is the correct way and a better way to two strand twist on natural hair. So after you have properly detangled, divide the hair into two, you know, it doesn't have to be equal, but, you know, make sure that they're almost the same size. Then 
hold on to the strand on your right hand and gradually move it over the left repeatedly until you get to the bottom now while you're moving it make sure that you're keeping the twist tight and you're not leaving any loose space in between or else you're going to end up with a loose twist so carefully cross it over to the other section and make sure that you do not borrow hair from either of the two sections and if you feel the need to detangle along the way definitely do so without borrowing hair make sure that hair does not cross from one strand into the other yeah so that's basically all you need to do to get the desired twist out result now when you get to the end of the twist simply curl it around the finger so it doesn't unravel and that's it So I'm going to repeat the process in case you did not get the first demonstration but this time around I will show you another way to trim your thin ends for those of us who might not be able to identify the thin ends when you're holding your hair in a bunch there's another way around it so I'm just going to show you after completing this twist As opposed to the first method I showed you, I'm trimming this one after completing the twist. Remember the first one, I trimmed it before twisting. So now I'm trimming after twisting. So this is a lot easier for those of us who cannot spot where the thin ends are. So when you just hold the twist and look at the ends, you'd see the thin ends and you just cut them off. So after I was done, I threw on my satin bonnet and allowed the hair to air dry overnight. The next morning, I took out the bonnet and unraveled the twist. Notice that I'm untwisting it in the opposite direction in which it was twisted and by the time it's loose enough, I just go right to the roots and then pull the twist apart. I didn't further separate the twists after unraveling because I wanted to keep the curls for a couple of days. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button below so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!